Hello, this is uh, chapter 17, question 76. It's uh, related to question 74, uh, which hopefully you just watched. It says, uh, time in a restaurant. It says, use the data in exercise 17.74 to estimate the mean time customers spend in this restaurant on Saturday evenings with 95% confidence. Follow the four-step process. Okay, let, let's not worry about the four-step process. Let's just do the, the confidence interval here. All right, so... Um, so first of all, let, let's go back here to um, 40, question 42 for a minute. In the beginning of that question, I asked, how do you know if you're, if you're doing a confidence interval or, or a significance test or hypothesis test? Um, in this situation, um, they, they actually tell you, find a confidence interval. So that's how we know. But if they didn't tell you that, uh, you also you have the word estimate in there. So that's another uh, uh, a clue that a confidence interval. All right, well, let's go ahead and and, um, and calculate here a confidence interval now. Let's get a new a new page here. Okay, so this is chapter 17, question 76. All right, so the formula for confidence intervals, x bar plus or minus critical z times the standard deviation of the sampling distribution sigma over square root of n. All right, let's go back to the question. It says, um, estimate 95% confidence. So that means 95% um, confidence level. So that determines your Z star. So Z star is 1.96. So you probably have that number memorized by now. You've used it, been using it for so, so much. All right. Now let's let's take a look at our our um our raw data here. Uh, what is x bar? So uh, I downloaded the data earlier, and um, uh, here here's the raw data. It's uh, the the mean of all the all the data points is 105.7. So let's write that down here. So 105.7 minutes. Um, N, if you recall uh, from the last question, was 30, 30 customers in the restaurant. And then um, standard deviation is 15 minutes. And that's, that's again from question 74. All right. So all, all that stuff you either get from the problem itself or from, from the data. Now you just uh, plug in the numbers and you do the calculations. So uh, X bar, 105.7 minutes plus or minus Z star 1.960 times sigma over square root of n, 15 over square root of 30. Okay, do that calculation. Let's get out the calculator here. All right, I'll just do square root of 30 first. So square root of 30 is 5.4772. So I'm going to have um, 1.960 times 15 divided by 5 point, what was it again? 5.4772. Okay, now I'll just multiply 1.960 times 15 and divide by the 5.4772. So 1.96 times 15 divided by 5.4772 gives us 5.36. Uh, hold hold on a minute here. Okay, so uh, five point three six. Uh, I'll just round it here to five point three seven. Okay, so that that's the margin of error. I all I did I multiplied one point nine six zero times fifteen divided by square thirty, and eventually I, I got that. And so we've got one hundred five point seven minutes. Oops, hold on here. Got to erase. Made a little mistake here. Put the decimal point in the wrong spot. Okay, 105.7 plus or minus 5.37 minutes. There, there's your answer right there. It's okay to leave the answer in this form. Uh, the nice thing is you know exactly what that margin of error is. Uh, but you can add and subtract that if you want to. You can go 105.7 minus, you can get out your calculator here, go uh, 105.7 minus 
is 100.33 to, and then you, and then go 105.7 plus 5.37. That's 111.07, and you can give the answer like that, and put in put a comma between because it's an interval, um, and then. Uh, that gives you the upper and lower bounds of your interval. Um, either way, the way to interpret this question is that basically I'm 95% sure or 95% confident that the real uh, or the true mean of the population, I'll just say the mean of the population, um, is between about a hundred and I'm around off here about a hundred and a hundred eleven minutes. Now, uh, the population is the uh, the population of all the millions of people who go into a restaurant uh, into a pizza restaurant that has a lavender odor in it in France. <laughs> that, so that that's your that's your population. Maybe there's hundreds of thousands of people. But the mean would be between those numbers right there. And the real population mean is a fixed number, but we're pretty sure it's somewhere in between 100 and 111 minutes. And that's it.